You're still tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on SABC3. Now, the lockdown has brought about some interesting innovations around how we connect with one another. And for the Endangered Wildlife Trust, a leading conservation organization in Southern Africa, they've turned to creating an online series of talks called Wild Chats to keep the passion for conservation alive in all wildlife enthusiasts across the country. Now, Senior Manager of the Endangered Wildlife Trust, Constant Wurstadt, joins us to tell us a bit more about these Wild Chats. Great to have have you with us, Constant. How are you doing today? Good morning. Very well, thanks. Just a little bit cold, but, but good. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, let's quickly talk about these wild chats and how they came about and what the aim is. Yes, the, uh, they, they came about a, a, a bit of an innovation from our communication and marketing department at the Endangered Wildlife Trust. We really needed a way to still connect with all our supporters and uh, people out there that are interested in conservation. And um, they came up with this idea to try and get this platform off the ground where we can still engage with all our sponsors, donors, um, supporters, etc. And uh, it's, uh, it's turned out to be something that was that's very popular. Um, you know, we, we've had over 20 wild chats already um, running on a weekly basis and people have really loved it. And we've seen a lot of engagement um, after the wild chats as well, not only live, we also have all of them on, on YouTube channels. So um, we've seen a, a very, very large interest from the public and, and our current supporters and donors, etc. Yeah, and it's so important to be able to keep such pursuits alive and well and going, especially amidst this COVID-19 pandemic, where the focus is, is seemingly just on headlines regarding that. So well done to you and your team um, on that. But I understand that you've also had some very interesting chats already, which include uh, one on the Southern Ground Hornbill, which is South Africa's Bird of the Year 2020, and the conservation of SA's largest crane. Could you tell us a bit more about some of the other fascinating talks that you've hosted thus far? Yes, we, we, we've, like I said, we've had some really good engagements around, um, around the, the talks that we've had. Um, we've had talks on uh, all the different projects that we work on. We, we have three main focus areas at the Endangered Wildlife Trust. It's, it's species, it's habitats, and it's people. Um, so we've had, um, you know, subjects around that, around those three. I mean, most popular ones have been around, you know, the Cheetah Meta Population Project in South Africa, where we move uh, Cheetah between reserves to make sure that genetically um, the population stays viable and, you know, that's uh, and the same with wild dogs. The wild dog chats have been very popular. You know, we've got projects in Kruger National Park. We've also got a meta population project in South Africa and Africa where we are moving uh, packs of wild dogs around. And, you know, and, and South Africa is the only country in the world and obviously in Africa where, where a cheetah and wild dog populations are on the rise. And the rest of Africa and the world populations are declining. So uh, people have a lot of interest around that. We've had talks on frogs. We've had talks on... Um, you know, all kinds of different areas that we work in. So they've been very popular, but those have been the most popular chats to date. Well, it's great to also hear that these talks are uh, around some of the successes of uh, conservation around our country. Now, for those that haven't uh, perhaps seen uh, the wild chats or heard them before, explain to us how they actually work online. We, we run through a presentation on, on, what, on what the subject is about mm -hmm. um, and all the details, and people can then pop their questions into the, the Q&A box at the bottom. Um, and at the end of the talk, then we, we normally run through these questions. Um, we've had some really interesting questions come in, um, some really weird questions sometimes come in. So some of those you can you can answer live and, and others you can just, uh, uh, you know, lay over to, to answer at a later stage by email or something else. But it's the, the Q&A box at the bottom is, is the way that we engage with the audience. Wow, sounds like a great way to create a resource of information for all wildlife enthusiasts out there. And I'm sure that they learn a lot from engaging with you. Now, these chats are free, as I understand, but people do need to book their spot. So take us through that process, how it works and where they can get more information. Yes, they, they, they can go to our website, uh, www.ewt.org.za. That gives you a little bit more detail around what to do. We also have a, a mailing list, um, which, you can, uh, which you can sign on to, um, where we send out uh, weekly or in this case now, we, we've, we started to shift the talks out to, to being like bi-weekly. Then you just sign up before the talk. So the reason why we do that is just to try and see how large the platform is going to be, how many people will be attending, and then we can adjust our, uh, our, our, our settings accordingly. So, uh, But like I said, these talks are also recorded. Um, if, you, if you go to YouTube and you look at um, EWT Wild Chats, you'll see that uh, all of the, the, the talks that are recorded are, are placed on, on YouTube as well. But the live ones are a lot more fun. Well, Constant, thanks to you and your team and the work that you are doing to protect our wildlife. And thanks for the chat. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it. Some meaningful edutainment for everyone out there and a great initiative stemming from an important cause and organization. And, of course, all in an effort to protect our wildlife.